Hey guys, welcome back to Creativity and Inspiration. I'm Lisa. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. Today, I have a great video for you. As you saw in the title, I am testing cheap watercolor pencils. And the reason I'm doing this is because everything's getting so expensive now. And if we as artists, as crafters, as creators can find cheap art supplies, cheap supplies that are good, why not use them? Who cares if they're not a name brand? If they're good and they're cheap and they work. So that's what the video is today. We're going to test them out and see. I did have a couple of announcements. If you missed it last time, I now have a Patreon link down below. You can try it for free for seven days. There's tons of perks, tons of workshops are coming, and I'm super excited about it. I also will be posting a list of workshops that are going to be in Patreon over on Patreon so you can see in the future what is coming. And these workshops have $165 to $200 value and even if you're a member of my $10 Patreon for a year, you're getting the workshops for $120. That's not a bad deal. If you're a member of the $18 tier, you're going to get them for a little over 200 but you're getting multiple workshops a year. You're getting two full-length, in-depth workshops every month. That's insane. So if you're interested, head over there. Like I said, I'll have a list of the videos. I'll have a list of the workshops that will be coming over there very, very soon up, and you can go check it out. And there is a seven day free trial. So you can see the video that is already posted and the freebies. There are going to be a lot of freebies. There are videos that go with the freebies. So there is a ton of information that will be blooming over there. But today we are going to get on with our testing of cheap colored pencils. I do want to point out, see this cute little guy? This corgi right here. I am making a 10 by 10 of this same photo, not photo, of this same little painting here. This is a 5x5, 4x4, 5x5, one of those. And I'm going to make it on a 10 by 10 So if you're interested in a small little corgi butt to decorate a bedroom or a fun office, creative space, or your living room, family room, it will be up on my website very soon. Okay into the video because it's a good okay guys before we end this i want to show you this is hilarious this is a trick that if you're trying to squeeze something out of a tube this was modeling paste but if you're trying to squeeze out paint or modeling paste just a whatever and it's in a tube and you squeezed and squeezed and got what you think is every last drop cut it open and you will be surprised at the amount of product that is still in the tube so this is an artist trick that because we are all starving artists that's not a lie we're all broke we all want you know to save money because art supplies are getting more and more expensive then do this that way you just make sure you get the most of your product and maybe you don't need it then but still save it don't think it's empty and the next time you need some cut it open you will be surprised at how much is hiding up in the little rim there of your um where it comes out also down in the corners at the base part so cut it open whether it's paint gesso modeling paste or whatever okay so these are the watercolor pencils we are testing today they were all under $10 except for the set of 48 it was 13 something and it was under $15 so all very very inexpensive and I know I've tested Crayola before but they're in this family and we want to pit them against all of these so we have our watercolor I actually love these use these all the time I tell you when you're artists I have art showing in galleries across the country I have art that is in collectors homes you don't have to use the most expensive products if you don't have the main don't let a budget keep you from creating if you're a creative 
you want to create, you need to create. So that's why I'm doing this cheap color, um, uh, cheap watercolor pencil video. Okay, so we have watercolor pencils, 24. I'll put the price up on the screen because I don't remember. And also a link down below. These are Faber-Castell. This is a very big brand. 24 watercolor pencils. And then we'll do this one. This one, again, was under $10. This is a no-brand Joyberg water-soluble watercolor pencils. There's 36. Comes in a cute little container. Like, so pretty. And then this is the bigger set. This one was over 10. It was 13 something. I'll put it up. And against a no name brand. So let's see how all these do. I'll talk about the characteristics. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch each one dry first and we'll compare them that way. Then I will swatch again each one wet. And we're going to see what colors hold up. So let's just start with Crayola because it is the most inexpensive or cheap, cheapest. And first, I'm just going to swatch them dry. And this is just a piece of regular paper from Blick. I'm not going to do the white for obvious reasons. Now guys, if you don't want to swatch on a piece of paper or in your sketchbook, I do have available over on my Patreon. Hold on, let me get them. I do have over on my um, Patreon these little circle swatch bubbles if you want to use these. And I also have this one. It's called Light and Dark, and there's a little video that goes with this one. And if you're a member of my Patreon, these are free. Okay. So let's swatch out the um, Crayola first. It has a good color. It's not as scratchy. It's a soft watercolor pencil, which I like. I can't stand to get a watercolor pencil and it goes when I am um, swatching it or using it. I won't use them. Okay, there's all 24 swatched. And I think you're going to notice a couple of things. One, there's several colors that are basically the same. And you'll find this in any brand of watercolor pencils, colored pencils. It's just what they do. These colors are very similar. This green and this green are the same, basically. And there was one more... The oranges are very similar and they just do them. But for the price, they're really good. They don't, they're not a solid color, but they're not a bad watercolor pencil at all. And they work, they work. I've used them on work that has been in a show. So I'm just gonna pick a random color and we're gonna see how it looks after you add water to it because they are watercolor pencils. Now these are soft watercolor pencils, meaning they're not scratchy, they're not hard, you don't get that sound when you do it, which I love, I can't stand that sound. Okay, now I'm gonna get my water and we're gonna see how it does. Oh, and look at that. You get a nice, brilliant color. You can thin it out more and get it thinner. You can leave it dark and just kind of activate the pigment. So there you go. So Crayola is actually a very good watercolor pencil and it's very affordable. Again, for 24, I'll put the price up in the corner of the screen. Let me write on here. This is Crayola. Now I'm gonna go to the Faber-Castell 
because this is a big name in art and um, art supplies. I mean, they have very high end supplies. These you got 24 for eight something. Again, I'll put the price up in the corner and we're just gonna test them. Again, I'm gonna skip the uh, white because there's no reason. And I'm gonna do a dry swatch of all of them and then I'll do one wet. Okay, these are soft. They're not hard, they're not scratchy, which is what soft means. The color is not on the barrel, but the name is the watercolor, says it's watercolor with a paintbrush. So you know you can add water, but there's not a number on it and there's not a color. In fact, there's no name for the color at all on here, but you get a free sharpener, woohoo. Okay, let me go back to the Crayola for a second. Watercolor pencils, 24, non-toxic, and let's see, let's look at the barrel of these. Okay, the barrel of the Crayola has Crayola watercolor with a bigger paintbrush. It's all, oh, but it has the color on it. So the Crayola markers put the color on their barrel. The Faber-Castile do not, they're both 24 sets. Okay but I like them. They're very smooth. And so far, the, oops, the color looks really, their colors are bright. They're coloring just like the Crayola. I don't really feel much difference in them. I like the Crayola ones. I like these. Again, I don't get that scratchy sensation. They look the same on the paper, and I will show you that in a minute. And again, those reds are very similar, just like Crayola's reds were very similar. You're gonna find that a lot with colored pencils, watercolor pencils. The reds are very similar, the blues and greens. You'll have basically sometimes the same pencils, which is annoying because you're paying for a certain number of pencils and you're getting less. This one's already broken. Again, they are a soft pencil, which I like because if it was hard, it would make that terrible scratchy noise. I do like that the Faber-Castell has a light purple, which the Crayola did not have. And the, and the Crayola and the Faber-Castell are both 24, so we are pretty much comparing apples to apples here. Greens are, like I said, another place where a lot of the greens look very similar. Though there is just enough difference in those, I love both those. I am doing a lot of garden nature work right now and I use a lot of green and I really like all three of those. See, this one on Crayola and this one were basically the same pencil. But again, Crayola doesn't market to artists. They market to kids. But if it's affordable and it has a good range and looks good, I mean, why shouldn't we use it, right? I love these browns. Nice range of browns. So I'm finding the Faber-Castell, because of the brand itself, has a great range of different hues, tones of the same color. Okay, there's our Faber-Castell, 24 colors, just like our Crayola. I'm seeing the reds are very similar, the oranges, but other than that, they have a good different range. They have a lot of range of purples. They have like three purples, three different blues, three different greens, three different browns. The blacks are the same, so they only have two there. The oranges are this, not the same, but they're very similar. The reds, this one is a little more pinky, so you basically have three tones of red, two yellows, very similar, but not exactly. Okay. Let's get a red or a red-ish, since they don't have the colors written on the barrels, which is a downfall. Nowhere on here does it say what color this is. Nope, no color at all on the Faber-Castell. 
So I'm gonna do my red here. And then I'm going to use my water, because they are watercolors. And again, you get very pretty. It smooths out. Very nice. Okay. This is, I'm going to write 24 up here by Crayola. And then this is Faber Castile. And it's 24. Now we're going to go to our next one. And the next two are no brand and this is the Joyberg water soluble watercolor pencils there's 36 I've never used these before in fact I just got them so let me get them open all right that's nice well, let's start swatching now it's gonna be a little harder to do them in the same order but I will try Again, nice soft leads. I like that. Very soft. Oh, let's see. Okay, they have a number and the color, a paintbrush, and watercolor pencils. See, that's great because you know what you're using. You have a name and a number. But they can't be bought um, separately. And that's because they are inexpensive watercolor pencils. So when, if you need one, you're going to have to buy the whole set. So say you use all your greens, you like this brand and you want more greens. You can't buy the greens separate. You would have to buy a whole nother container and that's a downfall of the cheaper brands, but they're so inexpensive. I guess they think that people wouldn't mind doing that. But honestly, if I just need one color, I don't want to have to buy you know, a bunch of, a whole new set if I just use like one, two, or three colors up. I don't know why this side doesn't want to come out. A little harder to maneuver there. They're very smooth, again, like them. They have the number, color, and name on the barrel, which is nice. They have a lot of range of colors. There's 36 in this set, so we are going to have more colors to work with here than we did in the previous two. And what kills me sometimes, though, is look at this, and it looks neon, right? But the color is more purpley. Let's see here. We'll, we'll see how the barrels of the pencils match up with their actual color they lay down. Let's do another one. Okay, are you noticing those colors are very similar? And again, the barrel is not matching the color at all. But again, we are working with inexpensive watercolor pencils here. So, oh, I thought that was blue. That was gray. Sorry about that, guys. Those grays look very similar, but they were very different. Maybe this was the same one. Sorry about that. The packaging is cute, but it, it's very hard to get them out. And if you're swatching for a camera, it's very hard to know what you have and have not swatched. So it would be nice if they were in a more organized manner. Or if you're just one of those people that like your colors. Again, I'm not seeing a lot of difference between these and the Faber-Castell. Or the Crayola, they're all going down nicely. Obviously, in the Faber Castell, in and it was 24 like the Crayola, you had more range of color, more variations. And in this pack, you are getting that, but this pack is also larger by 12. I tell you, the way they're organized, it's hard to see if I've got all the colors or not. And then it's hard to get them back in, which doesn't make sense either. So packaging is kind of losing points with me, for sure. There's not ease. You see, I'm struggling to get them 
in and out. See, I'm grabbing the same ones because it's really hard to tell colors the way they're stacked in here. Oh, see, that's another purple. That's a purple. We didn't do purple yet. There is no light. Well, maybe this one. Okay, so the packaging with these is not good. You can't tell what colors you've done, you haven't done. It's it's really hard to discern where you're at in the color range here. But I know once you pull them out, you're never going to get them all back in. And the colors they lay down don't really match their barrels. But they do have a number and name, which is good. Because these do not. Now, I want to go back to the Faber-Castell a minute. I want to do this one. And I want to see how well the color matches the barrel. And that's pretty close. That's pretty close. So that's nice. Because the color and the barrels do not match in the Joyberg. Okay. And just for fundies, we're going to get the red out of the Crayola too. And let's see how it matches with its barrel. Yeah. It matches pretty good. So the two cheaper ones, the barrels match the color that are coming out. The more expensive one, which is still under $10, does not. Okay, now let's get a red, if I can figure out a red. I don't think that's a red. Let's do this. Okay, we're going to use this. This is 0026 red. That's what we're going to use for, that's what I've been using for my watercolor test. Okay, and let's get our watercolor, water. And see, it doesn't look red when it spreads out. It looks kind of pinky. And you can still see the original mark. See, this one's more red, and that one's pretty red too. This one did spread out then, but... I don't know. The two top ones seem to be holding better. Okay. So let's put this back in here. Let's write our name on this one. And we're going to put fabric. Okay. Joyberg. And this one was 36. And the prices will be up in the corner again, guys. Okay. Now, the last one we're going to compare is our most expensive set. It's a no-name brand. There's 48. So, let me get my paper ready. And I like this way because I can control where I'm at. What comes with this? Okay, it comes with an eraser, a sharpener, a water brush, and a blending brush. So... Besides 48 colored pencils, you get extra goodies. So I'm gonna pull these out. And you can see all the extra goodies we got. Our water, our water blending brush, our eraser, our sharpener, and then our 48 pencils. Oh, and we got a paintbrush. It's right there. So we got a paintbrush too. Not bad. A water brush, a blending brush, an eraser, a pencil sharpener, and 48 pencils. Let's see how they do. And again, this is called Awesome Art Magic. You get 48 pencils and it was 13 something. Again, the price is up in the corner. Okay. I'm going to kind of scoot them over here. Not going to do white, obviously. Okay, do you hear that? They are a little scratchier than the first three. They're scratchier than the first three. There's nothing on the barrel. No paintbrush, no brand name, nothing. And they're hard. They're scratchy. And they're not grouped together because I don't know if you guys can see this, but see, this is where this yellow was. And the rest of the yellows are behind it right there. So my thought on these before I even do the water is they're hard. They're scratchy. And I want you to hear 
what I'm talking about. So let me get, this is out of this set. Well, let me go ahead and do this first. Okay, so let's do the water. Okay, it's nice with the water. But you can still, see how you can still see it? If I keep at it, maybe you won't. But it doesn't, was that red? Oh, I don't know. See, I thought that was red. That looks more pinky now. So the only one that really held its color wet red was the Faber Castell. See, that's red. That's pinky. The Crayola did pretty good. Those two are more pinky. Okay, let me write what this is. Then I'm going to show you what I'm talking about when I say they're hard and scratchy. These were awesome art magic. The price is on the screen and there was 40 feet. Okay, now here's the deal. I want you to listen carefully. This is an art magic. Okay, this is the ones we just did. Listen to this pencil. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is the Joyberg. It's 36. I'm gonna get find the red if I can. Light orange. Now, does that look light orange to you? That's what the color is, light orange. See, here, at least they have the number and color on their barrel. Okay, so remember how that one sounded. Now here, that one is so much quieter and not as scratchy. Now let's do the Faber Castile. It's soft too, it's not that scratchy noise. And then we'll do Viola. Now I'm going to do the Art Castle one again for you, just so you can refresh. Okay, this is the 48 Art Castle one, this one. Do you hear the difference? That's because it is a harder pencil, harder level. The color is a harder color. And um, it's just scratchier. I like soft lead, soft colors. And that's why my preference really are my preference are Faber Castile and Crayola, but I like the color range in the greens of the Joyberg. The Faber Castile had a nice color range too, which I liked. I like that the color held true when you thinned it out. It thinned it. It thinned out nicely. I like the Crayola. So my favorite two are the Faber Castile and the Crayola, and really. Faber Castile's eight something, Crayola's three to five. Again, the prices are up on the screen. These are the most affordable Crayola. There's nothing wrong with them. I use them all the time. But if you want a little more range of color, the Faber Castile for three or four more dollars has a range of purples, a range of greens. You know, their yellows are close, their oranges are close. Let's see about their barrels. They don't have the names written on the barrels, which is kind of annoying, to be honest. But, you know, is it a big deal to you? You have to figure out. But look, their barrels match, which is nice. I like that. So really, it's going to be your budget and personal preference. But I would not waste my money on something that's hard, that's hard to blend out, not true to color. This whole experience right here, I would not recommend. The Joyberg, again, the packaging kind of makes this not a good option. The colors don't really match their barrels. There's a lot of repeats in here. 
Now, I just want to show you so you can hear a truly expensive brand and their color. I want to show you these. These are Durant ink tints. This little pack of six was over $13. You go into 24 and you're up in the 40s, 50s. I, will, I can't afford that. But I just wanted to show you this is how their barrel looks. Their barrel's thick. They have the color on the end. They also have the name with the number. Now listen to this. Okay, very quiet, very soft. Now let's do the water test. Look at that color, look at that red. It's a beautiful color. The original mark underneath is gone. It's truly gone, the color is bright. So, but that's a super expensive brand. I think that the Faber-Castell and the Crayola did a phenomenal job and I would recommend either one of those brands. If your budget is very, very tight, do the Crayola. If you have just a tad bit of more budget to spend, do the Faber-Castell. Now. How can you use these? What can you do with watercolor pencils, guys? Whatever you want to. I will have a more in-depth workshop on using watercolor pencils, showing you examples in artwork that is on paper, canvas. So if you want to see that, head over to Patreon. It will be coming soon. It's one of those videos I am in the process of getting together. But anyway, guys, if you like this comparison of the inexpensive watercolors, let me write down the Durant so we know that this beautiful red here. And the thing with the ink tints, too, a lot of times you can buy pencils separately. Okay, you can buy colored pencils in like um, Prismacolor, Luminance, Luminance. You can buy pencils separately. So if you want a more expensive watercolor, palette you can buy those separately one pencil at a time this is to me the derwent ink tints pens uh watercolor colored ink tints pencils are the absolute best of the best that's why they're so expensive their colors are amazing hey guys i hope you enjoyed swatching these cheap watercolor pencils with me and I hope you'll try the ones I suggested. They really are the best of the most affordable. I use them myself. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button with that little bell. We will be back on Friday with our next video, which is... We will be back on Friday with our next video, which is a journal for holiday celebrations journaling, organizing, remembering. It's kind of like an all-in-one journal with the holidays coming up. If you plan celebrations, if you have open houses, or if you and your family just have special things you do, it'll kind of help you stay organized and be a memory-keeping place all-in-one. And that's what we need, right? Just something compact, easy to deal with, where we don't have to go between two or three different books, journals, planners. So come back on Friday for that because I can't believe it. It's almost September, which means the holiday season is that close. I'll see you Friday, guys. Again, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget, leave me a comment down below. Do you use watercolor pencils? And if so, what brand? I'd love to know. I'd like to try them. Or if you don't use watercolor pencils, are you going to try one of the cheap ones that I recommended. And when I say cheap, I do not mean that derogatory at all. I mean that is what we need in today's time. So take care. I will see you later, guys.